Hello and welcome to lesson three in our four-part beginner tin whistle video series. To start off, I'd like us to warm up by playing the six notes that we've learned on the tin whistle over the last two videos. We'll play those together, we'll play them after four and for a count of four beats. So here we go, we're going to start on our B and we're going to work our way down note by note until we get to our D. After four, one, two, three, four. Very well done. Now we're warmed up and we're ready to learn two new notes. So in this video, we're going to learn two new notes. So the first new note that we're going to learn today is called a C sharp. It's one note higher than our B. And the way that works is we take all of our fingers off the whistle. And then when we blow down it, we get a C sharp. So let's try that together after four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. That's how we play a C sharp. But there's one more note that I want to teach you in this video. And that note is going to be D, but it's going to be higher than the D that we already know. We already know D to have six fingers down. It's our lowest note. We know that note well now. But if we take the top finger off and expose that first finger hole and then play, we'll get a D that sounds eight notes higher than the one that we already know. Let's try that all together. We play a normal D, six fingers down. Take our top finger, the finger nearest our nose when we play. Take that finger off and we get a high D. Let's try that together after four. One, two, three, four. So now that we've learned our two new notes, C sharp and high D, we need to practice them next to all the other notes that we know on the whistle. So what I want us to do is we're gonna start on our low D, six fingers down, and we're going to walk up the whistle note by note until we get to our two new notes, C sharp, all of them off, and then high D. All your fingers down and then except for the top finger, the finger nearest your nose. So let's try that together after four. One, two, three, four. When we play those eight notes on the tin whistle, low D, one at a time, up to high D, or vice versa, high D, one at a time, down to low D, that's called a D major scale. So practice those notes, and then when you're really comfortable with how to play each one, maybe try going all the way up, and then all the way back down again, like this. Three, four. So 
So practicing your D major scale, like I just did for you there, is really good for you because it makes you better at navigating the whistle and it makes it easier to learn more difficult tunes as you progress. And we can use those two new notes that we've learned in our D major scale, the C sharp and the high D, in this new tune that I'm gonna teach you today. First, have a listen to it. It's a very popular nursery rhyme called Three Blind Mice. So listen to me first, and then I'll teach it to you phrase by phrase. So let's learn this tune, Three Blind Mice, phrase by phrase. I'll play a phrase to you, and then you play it back to me. We're gonna start on our F sharp, which is four fingers down. Here's phrase one. <gasps> F sharp, E, D, F sharp, E, D. Very good. Let's get phrase two. A, G, G, F sharp. A, G, G, F sharp. Well done. Have you got that? Let's try those two phrases put together. I'll play that first, you play that back to me. <gasps> F sharp, E, D. F sharp, E, D. A, G, G, F sharp. A, G, G, F sharp. Have you got that? Excellent. Let's get the next phrase. Now we're gonna start on one of our brand new notes, the high D, and we're gonna play this. Here's phrase three. C sharp, B, C sharp, D, A, A. Let's try that again. Me first. <gasps> D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, A, A. Let's do one more for lock. D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, A, A. You got it? Excellent. Because we play that pattern three times. So listen to me play that pattern three times and then you play it back. B, C sharp, D, A, A, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, A, A, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, A, A. Got it? Good. Now to finish the tune. A sharp, E, D. Excellent. So, I'm going to put those last two phrases that we've learnt together and then you play it after me. So here's the second and final half of Three Blind Mice. D, 
C sharp E, C sharp D, A, A. D, C sharp E, C sharp D, A, A. D, C sharp E, C sharp D, A, A. A sharp E, D. Got it? Awesome. So now I'll put all those phrases that we've just learned together and I'll play the whole tune all the way through and then you play that back to me. So here we go. Have a listen to me playing Three Blind Mice and then play it back. A sharp E D A G G F sharp A G G F sharp D C sharp E C sharp D A A D C sharp E C sharp D A A D C sharp E C sharp D A A A sharp E D So hopefully you've practiced that tune up. I'd like us just to recap what we've done today. We've learned two new notes, our C sharp and our D. We've learned how to play a D major scale all the way up, all the way down. And we've also learned a brand new tune that uses all the notes that we've learned how to play on the whistle. So let's finish off today by playing through three blind mice all the way through together. After four, one, two, three, four. Very well done and I'll see you in the next lesson.